currency and money aren't the same thing. Generally speaking, currency is anything with a face value on it, and may or may not be made out of money, which is anything with intrinsic value, that is, value contained within it, usually metal. None of this paper here is money, although at one time this silver certificate was redeemable for money. None of these coins, these recent ones here, contain any money either. Not all money is currency, and not all currency is money, especially these days. When Canada was established in 1867, this was the penny at the time. It was about a half ounce of pure copper, and that would have bought you uh, probably a meal or something to that effect. Um, what happened shortly after, well, this is a penny from 100 years ago, exactly, 1912. One Canadian penny. King George on the back. Slightly smaller, you may notice. In 1920, because of inflation, the penny had to be downsized further to the current size of the penny. And over the years, the penny was debased, which means the money was removed from it, and it was simply retained its face value, or currency value, of one cent, but continued to have less and less and less money in it. Uh, in 1997, the penny was further reduced to zinc, with a coating of copper to make it still look like a penny. And uh, now, today, we have pennies that are purely steel and have just a very thin layer of copper around the outside, so they have almost no monetary value whatsoever at all. Debasement is the devaluation of currency, and it's a global effect. It is the taking away of real money from the people. Meyer Rothschild, founder of the most powerful banking family dynasty in history, said, Give me control of a nation's money, and I care not who makes the laws. In 2012, just a few days ago, the Harper government announced there would be no more penny in Canada whatsoever. So we've gone not only from a debasement of half an ounce of pure copper uh, down to just a coating of copper on the penny, now to nothing at all. There will be no more pennies in circulation, and this is an effect of inflation, and it will also have an inflationary effect itself. I went into my bank when I heard the announcement that the penny was going to be removed, and I said I'd like five dollars worth of pennies the very next day. It took about 10 or 15 minutes. I had to speak to the manager. I had to give multiple explanations of what I was going to do with the pennies. But I did finally manage to get five dollars worth of pennies, which is ten fifty cent rolls. I recommend that everyone do that as often as you can, and I'm also going to recommend that no one ever spend another Canadian penny ever. Do not spend your Canadian cents. If you have a bill that comes to ten dollars and one cent, don't give a ten and a penny. Give a twenty and get some pennies back and keep that one penny in your pocket. The banks and the government are announcing, please turn your pennies into charities. They say this is a wonderful way to get rid of all those big jars and buckets of pennies you have lying around. Turn it into charities, or simply take it back to the bank for, quote, a refund, <laughs> and walk away with some paper or digital currency, rather than actual money. Don't do it. The idea of giving to charity is great, of course. How can anyone say no to that? But the problem is, if you turn your bucket of pennies into a charity, what does the charity do? They take it to the bank, and they give it to the bank for digital or paper currency. The bank sends it back to the Royal Canadian Mint, which melts it down and uses the copper. Don't do it. That's money. You need that. Don't be tricked into giving up your money for digital currency or paper currency. Never spend another Canadian penny. Remember silver? Um, if our parents had done the same thing when silver was debased and debased and then finally removed from currency completely, we would be sitting on a large pile of silver coins right now. Here's a quarter from the 60s in Canada. 
looks the same as a quarter today, but that's 80% silver and 20% copper. That's a piece of real money. Imagine if our parents had put aside buckets of these quarters and dimes and given them to us today. Why not get some pennies and keep them for your kids? I'll put down below in the description box a list of all the years that Canadian pennies have been produced and their compositions, but I don't recommend get rid of any of them. Even the steel pennies that have been made recently with just a tiny plating of copper to make it look like it's still real money. Don't get rid of those at all. Just hoard them. Um, as many as you can. I've got not just this five dollars worth, but I've got several hundred dollars worth of pennies now. And I used to sort them and take out the, the pure copper ones and leave behind the other ones, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to keep all Canadian pennies from this point, and I recommend you never spend another one again. Thanks for watching the Dreader channel. Talk to you soon.